This is the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warframe video. Today I want to talk about Warframes that can kill without using any weapons. We will talk here those Warframes that has built in abilities to kill enemies and obviously we will start with those Warframe with exalted weapons. However, exalted wielders are not the best in my opinion and there are Warframes with pure abilities that can destroy everything without manifesting an exalted blade or pistol. Exalted wielders are partially included in this list are probably Mesa, Wukong, Valkyrie, Excalibur, and Titania. But mind you, they are not 100% ability, only Warframes and let me explain why. Peacemaker Mesa is probably the best among the list, and right now the Warframe can exceed to Orange Crit with her Peacemaker using the Ceramic Dagger set up with Red and top as Arcan Shards, then paired with Arcane Avenger. I know this needs a lot of stuff, but Orange Crit to almost Red Crit Mesa is super busted that it can destroy almost all content in Warframe. Not to mention that you can also use Nurse now to add more energy economy, and as well as extra viral procs to your Regulator Pistols. The same goes with Titania, and I have tackled how universally good this Warframe in the game. The only problem with Titania in the past is its energy economy, but that is taken care of by a Nourish build paired with Arcane Keen Energize. The Warframe also has two exalted weapons, namely Dexpixia and the Duata Melee. However, the Dexpixia pistols are the only notable exalted weapons to use as the melee exalted weapon of Titania requires a Razor Wing Blitz setup with Wrathful Advance or any damage buffing subsume abilities just to kill normal steel path levels. It's nowhere near effective as the Dexpixia and in fact it has a large gap when you subsume Seida's Whisper in your build paired with the Galvanized mods. A setup like this will completely obliterate steel path enemies easily without requiring you to use any other weapons from your loadout. Just a fair warning, by the way, Digital Extremes will be making changes on the Nourish Helminth variant, so both Nourish, Mesa, and Titania might get affected, and you might need to add Arcane Energize again in your setup to satiate the Warframe's energy-hungry abilities. Moving on, it's also worth noting the power of exalted melee wielders such as Wukong, Excalibur, and Valkyr. Among the three Warframes, my favorite is Hysteria Valkyr with the Wrathful Advance setup. The damage of her exalted claws are amazing, and this is one of my main setup in hunting Arcan hunts. The claws can melt the Arcans easily. The good thing about exalted melee weapons right now is that you can use the exalted melee and you can switch to using your guns by pressing the fire button. This means that you can add more damage through condition overload priming with a status gun like the Meta Kuvia Nucor. While Valkyr has a measly status chance in her stats, condition overload setup will still be devastating since you can proc multiple statuses using a primer gun. The same goes with an Iron Staff Wukong. I am guilty of replacing his fourth ability with Roar as it completes my versatile Wukong build. However, this doesn't mean that his Iron Staff is completely trash. You can still have fun with an Iron Staff build and honestly I think his fourth ability is in a better state right now. Just like Valkyr's Talons, you can switch to your Primer Gun also and inflict multiple statuses to enemies to increase the damage of your Condition Overload Iron Staff. Excalibur can do the same. And one of the main reasons why many players think that the Warframe is the best starter is the fact that he got an ability to wield a weapon that can kill enemies from normal Star Chart to steel path levels. His Exalted Blade is super busted, especially when paired with Sada's Whisper that creates a special synergy with the Exalted Melee. It makes the damage nuts since it grants additional instance of damage and it adds void damage to your Exalted Blade. Pair this with the Primer Setup and you'll be melting everything easily in the game. There are also Warframes with pseudo-exalted weapons, namely Baruch, Korra, and Atlas. The Pacifist Monk has his exalted fist that turns this Warframe into an airbending killing machine. The best part about Baruch right now is you can go with a reactive Storm Pillage build without worrying about your red crit builds, as the Warframe can use the Ceramic Dagger as a stat stick plus the Ready Steel Aura mod to always be at max combo count. The Gun and Blade perk of the Incarnate Ceramic Dagger will add initial combo and you can stack this easily by killing enemies first with your primary weapon like the Incarnate Torrid. If you got lucky and have an initial combo stat in your Riven also, then it's guaranteed that you have the 220 combo count every time. This means that all you need to do is add the Gladiator mod set into your stat stick, plus the Sacrificial Steel in your Desert Wind build to dish out constant red crit numbers from your Desert Wind ability. The best part is that you have Pillage to strip defenses, hence giving you more damage output and survivability with Shield Restore. Just be reminded that once you have performed a heavy attack with your fourth ability, you must deactivate the ability and make sure that the combo count is fully recharged before activating the skill again. Atlas is also a fun Warframe to play with. When playing Atlas, I don't just remember the anime One Punch Man, but also a famous quote from Bruce Lee that says, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. This is literally Atlas. The Warframe abandoned his other abilities and focuses on perfecting his One Punch killing power. Just like Baruch, you can use a stat stick for his landslide ability, and I always have fun with the group and punch build for Atlas, using cores and snare to group enemies, then casting Petrify and stripping their defenses with the Unairu Focus. After that, punch them in the face and just rinse and repeat the whole process. The most enjoyable part about an Atlas One Punch 
Punch build is that it destroys Steel Path enemies like they are made of paper. The same goes with Baruch and as well as the next Warframe Korra with her Whip Claw ability. Red Crit Whip Claw is meta in Warframe and this pairs well with her Ensnare or Pilfering Strangle Dome abilities. Ensnare lets you group enemies in one place including the Steel Path Acolytes and these leaves them vulnerable to Korra's Whip Claw. On the other hand, Pilfering Strangle Dome with Whip Claw is widely used for farming purposes and all you need to do is drop your fourth ability then smack everything that is caught with your Whip Claw. Gara is also a Warframe worth mentioning in this list as she got her Splinter Storm ability that has infinite true damage scaling that can kill enemies if you can stack and maintain her second ability stack. Incarnate Ceramic Dagger Gara is the best Splinter Storm Gara build right now in Warframe. To build up the damage stack of Splinter Storm, you must cast her fourth, then break it. Rinse and repeat the process, and you can get more damage stack per break when you have Eclipse in your build and breaking the Vitrify ability at max combo count. Combo Counter does grants bonus damage, and this is applied to your first ability, which gives you more damage stack once you break mass Vitrify. With initial combo from the Incarnate Ceramic Dagger, you will always have max combo count to get millions of damage stack in your Splinter Storm within a couple of minutes. Now, the first few Warframes I have mentioned have abilities that can kill enemies, but they require guns and melee to maximize the effective of their skills. I included these Warframes because probably some players will be mentioning these Warframes in the comment section as they can also just use their abilities to kill enemies. However, just like I have showed you, they are great when paired with stat sticks, which means they are in need of weapons to boost their skills. The Warframes I'm about to show you doesn't require any stat stick at all, and let's start with Gyre, which is one of my favorite Warframe to play this year. Pillage Gyre with a Cathode Current build is an absolute beast right now. It can clean a room full of enemies easily, and what I like about the Warframe is that she is the most unique Warframe of them all, as Gyre is the only Warframe outside of Exalted Weapons that can deal red crit skill damage. With the recent rework to Shield, the Warframe is tanky as hell with Pillage. Aside from that, Rotor Swell can deal decent damage to target with the help of Cathode Current Augment and Pillage stripping the defenses of enemies. Then you can get red crit numbers fast from your electric damage by using her first ability. Just by moving and hitting enemies with your fourth ability, you can kill a room fast, even in Steel Path levels. But the best Warframe for a run and gun setup is not Gyre, but the broken Warframe named Saku. This Warframe is a walking turret as their grasp of Lok gives them the ability to steal enemy weapons and use it as their own. Combining their fourth ability that increases void damage plus the armor and shield strip coming from their gaze ability, Grasp of Lok becomes one of the best abilities in the game to clear content easily even in Steel Path levels. Steinax is also worth mentioning in this video and he is getting a deluxe skin really soon. This is one of the press four to win Warframes in the game. Steinax Final Stand makes enemies bleed to death and the best part is it has an augment that grants over guard per hit. Not to mention that you can also gain energy and shield with his rally point ability. Pair this with Nourish right now and you can spam your fourth ability and clear a room easily. But then again, Nourish is subject for change on Dante Unbound update and we don't know if it will give the same energy economy like what we have right now. Next we have Gauss. Many refer to this Warframe as a speedster when in reality, the Warframe is versatile as he can nuke, survive and run fast. The good thing about Gauss is that he can unlock the full power of his Thermal Sunner ability when your red line is above 100%. Not only that you gain the ability to strip armor, but Thermal Sunner becomes an insane damage scaling ability with you continually cast the heat version while at max red line. With Gauss, all you need to do is run through the map and press the heat thermal sunder to nuke a room full of enemies. Dagath is also a good Warframe that can use only her abilities to kill enemies. Her fourth ability deals huge viral damage, especially if you pair it with her Doom ability. Her Doom ability doesn't just give damage redirection and applies a portion of the damage you dealt to enemies affected by the skill, but it's also the requirement to strip the defenses of enemies using her fourth ability. Hitting a Doom target with Rakali's cavalry will strip their armor and shield, dealing massive viral damage in the process. Sometimes you will be able to one-shot Acolytes and other special units in Steel Path levels once you have casted Rakali's Cavalry at the right angle. Before we proceed to the best, and final Warframe, I would like to include Protea as a special mention in this list. Her Blaze Artillery deals massive heat damage to enemies that are both strip of their defenses and grouped together. Usually I use an Ensnare Protea in Steel Path levels to group enemies, then use Unerru Focus to strip their armor and shield before casting the Blaze Artillery. Enemies melt in seconds with this combo, and I can just rinse and repeat the process. The only problem why I can't recommend Protea to be a versatile Warframe that only uses her abilities to kill enemies is the fact that Blaze Artillery only lasts for a few seconds, and you need to group enemies most of the time to kill them faster. It's a great combo in survival missions, but there are better Warframes that uses their abilities to kill compared to Protea. And finally, let's talk about the best Warframe for this list, Octavia. The only thing you should remember with this Warframe is always drop her mallet and let it do all the work. This ability is unique as its damage scales infinitely. The skill reflects enemy damage, and the harder the enemy hits the mallet, the more the damage it reflects back. Octavia is an absolute killing machine because of this ability alone, and all she needs to do is just teabag to infinitely become invisible while her metronome ability is active. While doing so, enjoy the view of damage numbers in your screen melting enemy health fast and easy. So that's all about it. Now, I know not all Warframes are included in here, and I would like to know also your own set of Warframes that you like in killing enemies while using their abilities. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future.